Namaskaram Sadhguru, uh, it's my privilege to be sitting in front of you. I thought you were standing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sadhguru. <laughs> uh, Is it standing or no? Am I making a Okay, it's my privilege to be standing in front of oh. you. <laughs> Uh, Sadhguru, I, you have completely changed my life after doing the yogic practice. Oh, after the change, you're like this. Yeah, you have changed it completely. <laughs> but uh, there are times uh, when life tests me, tricks, means like it's, uh, you know, there are tough situations. Uh, it's difficult to handle externally, external situations which get difficult to handle. So, what can I do in those situations to be in your grace and come out of it? To always be in your grace, what can I do, sir? <laughs> yes. See, if we open a… if you open a warm shower, or you will shower maybe singing something, Mary Sapuno Ki Rani, whatever you are. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know what you're saying <laughs> Something like that. But if you open a cold shower, you unexpectedly cold, ice cold it came off. Oh, she was you. <laughs> so, <laughs> difficult situations you want Sadhguru. <laughs> It's all right <laughs> But let me tell you what Adiyogi did. This is not me, okay, it's him. When uh, the Saptarishis, the seven sages who trained with him for a long period of time, we don't know how long, some accounts say they were with him for eighty-four years, some weary. We don't know how long, but it, it was a long time. That is, to such an extent, for them, there was no life other than him. That long they stayed with him. So when he said, you must all go out and what you have realized, you must spread it to the world. Seven people not together in seven different directions. And he pointed where they need to go. He's talking about North Africa, South America, Central Asia, Southeast Asia and of course this region. F over fifteen thousand years ago, this is almost like going to another planet, all right? When there is no communication, once you go there, that's the end of it. Most probably you'll never come back, not most probably you will not come back. Going there itself is a big challenge, going and coming back is not going to happen. So they said, we don't know what kind of people or animals or what lives there. We don't know, unexplored world. So, if we go to transmit this possibility out there and if we face dangerous situations where everything may be threatened, will you be there with us? Adiyogi looked incredible. If you get into trouble, me there? He said, if such a situation happens, I'll go to sleep. No, I didn't say he <laughs> Because, see, to boost your confidence, we can say, don't worry, I will be there. When you're in difficulty, when you're crashing into something, I'll hold your hand. When you're crashing into something, your hand should be free, you know <laughs> That's not a time to hold your hand <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> You're crashing into something, both your hands should be free. If I come and hold your hand, not to be good. <laughs> so he said, if you are really into mess, I shall sleep. It's a very profound statement. See, when you are awake, you are separate and the person sitting next to you is separate, clearly. 
But if all of you fall asleep here, just mounds of... Hmm? You and other is not really separate, just like that. If all of us die here, absolutely one, isn't it? Everybody becomes part of the same soil, no problem. We don't have to die. If we sleep, suddenly there is no distinction between who is you and who is me, isn't it? Everything is one. So he said, if you're in danger, I'll become one with you. I will not hold your hand and guide you. I'll become one with you. And I'm always sleeping. See, the whole aspect of yoga is this. To be intense and relaxed. Right now your problem is, if I say intense, you'll become tense. If I say relax, you'll become lax. This is the problem with life. If you know how to be intense and relaxed, you're awake and asleep at the same time. If you're like this, you don't worry about grace, you're always available. But your idea of intensity is to draw a boundary around yourself. Really, if you put a glass case around you, you will suffocate and die, isn't it? Hello? Yes. Right now, it may not be a glass case, it is still air is passing through, everything else is blocked. So those aspects will die. If we cut off the air, your lungs will not serve the rest of the body because of lack of oxygen or whatever, you will die. If you cut yourself off from whatever else, those aspects will die, isn't it? You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you deny yourself of, that aspect will die with you. So, if you want to be fully alive, it's every moment like that. There is no difficult moment, there is no easy moment in life. It's all in your head. Tell me, what is life? Full of situations. Some situations we know how to handle, some situations we don't know how to handle. What you're asking is, but these situations that I don't know how to handle. So, can we can do one thing. We can create a life situation for you, where you will never face any situation that you don't know how to handle. You'll only face situations that you know how to handle. That means your life is absolutely useless and it's stagnant. Every day, if you're stepping into situations that you don't know how to handle, this means you're going forward somewhere. We don't know where the hell you're going, but you're going somewhere. Because it's all, you know, planet, the planetary system, the universe, everything is in cycles. Wherever the hell you go, you come to the same place. But you must be going, all right? If you become stagnant, then you will stink. But if you can become absolutely still, then also every, everything will become part of you. These are too far away right now. But the simple thing is this, keep yourself transparent and open to life. Rest, we will do. <laughs>